Hello there guys and welcome to a new series of this YouTube channel. Yes, another new series and this time it will be about League Champions Advance. Yes, I've been qualified into this series. Well, I'm into 8 tier by pure miracle because when I when I entered into that league, they were just adding us the, our time trial times into some selected circuits and and I couldn't qualify in but that will be reserved into this tier and, and I'll be full time driver into the B tier but but when some things happen um, one of the drivers didn't accept some conditions and and they just left they removed from the league and so I just got into a full time A tier driver and and well I'm here uh, oh, unfortunately, this is just round two, and I couldn't participate on the season opener because I was sent on my home. And although I wanted to to do a video about the preseason, um, the preseason races I had, unfortunately, I couldn't get the footage about those races. And well, though I have some footages, but I didn't have enough, and I don't want to to get you an incomplete video. And well. To make things a little bit simple, I've been DNF'd in, in both races and, and and the reason was because I just got involved into multi-car crashes. One was in Hungary and the other was in Kota. Meanwhile, Monaco qualifying selected the softer tire location and we seeing that it's raining. But I'm just doing unnecessary laps because it'll dry up at the end of the qualifying so yeah, I'm just doing just in case, uh, just for practice because I just saw in the race, well as you could see some minutes ago that you, well, you're seeing that that the weather forecast was going to rain a little bit in the race, so I was just practicing a little bit and, well, I was just trying to say that, yeah, I wanted to to get a great performance and also to finish the race because yeah I'm yet to finish a single race of that league so well let's see if I can finish this one without any damages to the front wing meanwhile we're now into the out lap and heading to the tabac corner we just heading to those corners a little bit careful because yeah I didn't get a lot of practice into the rain so heading to the Draska's corner heading into the last corner then begin with our flying lap our first flying lap of this season and well I touched the wall a little bit and I was just checking and I was just telling to my engineer saying if my front wing is in damage and he said that everything is fine and I just decided to continue on and begin my flying lap and although we I just set a decent lap time Although many snap overs here, I decided to do another lap and it was going really good until I just cut the corner into the Nouvelle Chicane, invalidated the lap and converted to a second flying lap into an in lap. So yeah, I decided to box in that lap and well get prepared to get our lap time with our six tires because the rain is going to fade away and the track is going to dry out. Then on my second flying lap I decided to go with the soft tires as I had said previously because the track was drying out and I just saw that I was improving a lot and I was just improving a lot of seconds and because I was the first to go with the slicks I set provisional pole position when I just crossed the line but I knew that I would drop out of the order because many drivers will set the their lap times faster than me because their lap times will be in better conditions because the track are even more dried out by, uh, than my than mine and I decided to go for another flying lap and, and I just saw that that I was improving way more because the track was drier than my previous lap and I just set a greater lap time but I don't know which lap time is, uh, well you can see in the, in the screen and well after that I decided to box and grab my second and last 
softs are used in the qualifying session and set a real qualifying time. So let's get into that into that qualifying lap. Well then here we begin our first qualifying run, the real one, just is wide open, then into our fourth attempt. Here we go. Begin the qualifying lap into Santa Bot. We're just doing that corner a little bit deep, almost touching the wall, then into the ball flash. Nothing to deal with, then into the net. we need to do the, that corner without breaking too much. Then to the casino square, almost touching the wall and almost spinning after having an exit a little bit panicking. Then into the hairpin, a little bit decently, then into the mirror wall, second, then into the uh, party corner, a little bit decent, exiting that corner, entering the tunnel section. Turning into that tunnel corner, then into the novel chicken, exiting the tunnel section, breaking into 100 meter mark, not cutting the corner, then into the almost, almost, almost spinning, then into the tabac corner, doing those corners smoothly. We see a little bit of debris into the front wing, then into the swimming pool section, then someone is just sitting us our our place, then into the, the Raskas corner, then into the Anthony Knox. We just do those corners incredibly, and we just set a lap time of 1.11, I mean 111.049, which qualifies us into fourth position. What a lap! What a lap I've done! I was just extremely nervous and a little bit hot about about my qualifying lap because I was just, I was just skyrocketing, skyrocketing the expect that. Expect, oh man, I just. I just got so impressed that I forgot what to say. Yeah. But what a lap time. I didn't expect to set those lap times. And, well, let's get into the qualifying results. Well, here are they showing. Meanwhile, we're just a little bit, a little bit, um, shocked about our lap time we done. Rappi is on pole position, Omar Lo is in 2nd place by a hundredth of a second, Tato Santi is in 3rd, I qualified into 4th, Alan is in 5th, Ricardo is in 6th, Kaiser, I don't know, that BMR driver in 7th, Rocket is in 8th, Skyrim is in 9th, and Don completes the top 10, and, well, I couldn't complete the, the qualifying results, but if you saw the qualifying results, congratulations, you know how much it's going to happen in the race so let's get into the pre-race strategy so the strategy for the race will be a default medium hard strategy I was in a decision between the alternative strategy and the default one but I decided to go with the default one after after thinking for way more time meanwhile with the car setup changes I just lowered a little bit of the tire pressure the front and the rear ones because the fronts weren't at the lowest so I decided to lower them at the lowest and then for the only time in this season I'll overfill the car 44 kilograms 0.5 more laps than the field well, I don't know what to say but as you could see in the screen I just finished to set up my strategy Barely, I just barely finished. I was almost to not finish, but well, let's begin the formation lap. So here we are beginning the formation lap. Um, every player has been prepared, and meanwhile, I just got the practice start a little bit late because I wasn't expecting that the start will be way sooner. Meanwhile, we're just cleaning up the tires. I was a bit nervous, but I tried to calm down in because it's my race debut into this league and also because it's Monaco and and everything can go really wrong and crashing one time at the wall can can mean that your race is now bottled and and you need to repair your front wing and and if you get a heavy tear crash you may end up DNFing and I was just heating up my tires very aggressively because I was just seeing that my tires aren't heated up as as well as I was expecting and well I have nothing to say but I almost went into a wall but that doesn't mean that I have to worry about it because the formation lab has the damage turned off so yeah for as long as I don't crash with 
with another driver, everything is fine. And um, well, here we are, parking our grid slots, hit up our tires aggressively because if we don't do that thing, our tires will drop the temperature and we're just going to start the race with our cold tires and we don't want this to happen to any of us, so we're just hitting up our tires really aggressively, especially the rear ones, to get extra grip. Well, the grip necessary, I mean, because extra grip we won't have, but the necessary grip to get a great launch of this race. Meanwhile, we're just waiting for that driver to park his grid slot. I think he has now parked his grid slot, and well, we're just waiting for the race to get started, and here we are. We're just beginning the race. Our race debut, the five grid lights are being turned on. They are now turned on and it's let's out and away we go for our race debut. We just got a very great start and we just about to overtake Omaro but unfortunately it turn one we just crashed with him and we knocked him out of this top five and we unfortunately got karma instantly because our game got crashed and yeah I was just waiting for the for the game to kick me out and rejoin the lobby. Meanwhile, I was just seeing in the Twitch stream if I didn't get DNF by the by the AI controlling me. But well, let's see. Meanwhile, well, fortunately, I was still in the race. But well, I was just dropping out the order. I dropped down to seventh place because Ricardo overtook me. But well, at least I'm still in the race and I was about to over well. AI was about to overtake Ricciardo, Ricardo I mean, and I decided to go wheel to wheel but I decided to pack off something I should do with Omarlo instead of dive on him and crash with him because it ended up really terrible and well here we are into lap 3 um, maintaining the gap with Ricciardo and, and Ricardo I mean, man I just, I was just thinking about Daniel Ricciardo and uh, and well, we're just maintaining that gap and we're just trying to maintain P7 because, you know, overtaking is almost impossible in Monaco and the only thing we can just do is, is maintain that gap with them and, and not fall out of the order. Meanwhile, on lap 6, we're just seeing that those fields heading into the lowest herping, we're seeing that Thorm is out of the race and what a odd way to to DNF because exiting the lowest curbing you get really slow but he just pressed the throttle too early and uh, well he just crashed into a wall and damaged his suspension front suspension well I just saw him in his twitch stream and well he was a little bit ashamed a little bit but I don't know I don't think he was a little bit ashamed and, and then he just got into the, into an R race where he just created another race and meanwhile I'm just trying to to be with Ricardo and and maybe maintain P7 and maybe overtake him during the boxes and, and maybe get up into the places meanwhile ending lap 8 meanwhile we're just trying to overtake Ricardo or at least maintain his gap we're just seeing that he entered the pit lane and I think he's just going to box for hearts and it seems a little bit early for him to box, I think he was boxing to repair his front wing damages and now unfortunately I got a track limit warning, meanwhile we're just defending from Bustler and meanwhile we're just maintaining P6 and indeed Ricardo boxed for hearts and I got a snap of oversteer into the Mazanet corner and we locked up our brakes into the Mirohabo corner and well meanwhile we're just trying to defend from Boostler and and maybe decrease the gap between that driver in front of me and myself. Meanwhile at the end of lap 10 we're seeing that the Aston Martin of Rappi has gone into the pits so that means that I'll get P5 and we're just seeing that indeed we're getting P5 and we're seeing that Aston Martin has done a double stack and that's just a bit unusual and well we're now into P5 and meanwhile we're just trying to defend from Pustler and then decrease the gap with with the tire in front of me meanwhile 
Getting to those corners, then into the casino square. Then no, 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 man, jeez, that was terrible, terrible, terrible. Ah, oh, no way. To be honest, I just felt horrible. I just felt horrible when I got DNF. Yeah, on that day I just got heartbroken and although I just today I just feel a little bit a little bit bad about that thing yesterday I just felt worse but I was just thinking if I'll ever finish a race in this league and and yeah I was really in doubt and yeah I was I was extremely ashamed and angry and and yeah, I was I was just thinking how how would be my race if if I well I didn't get DNF and maybe I could get into the top five or maybe into the podium, but but it happened, DNF happened, and I was just really really angry, and I was just yelling and yelling. Well, let's let's just get on, move on and. Let's get into the end of the race. Meanwhile, at the end of the race, I decided to stay until the end of the race, watching. I was just suffering, and, and meanwhile, heading to the last corner, Tato Santi wins the Monaco race. Congratulations to him! And almost every driver got penalized, except the driver who was in front of me before DNFing didn't get the penalty, and also Terrific didn't get penalty. So. Alan finishes second and Boostler finishes third place, I think so. But Jonathan and Rappi, the two Aston Martins, finishes seventh and eighth, and Terrific finishes ninth place. Meanwhile, yeah, I was a little bit shamed then. Yeah, I could even finish on the podium because I was behind Boostler and and yeah. But the pressure got caught and I couldn't do much of that thing. Let's just move on and practice for the next race which will be Monza and hope we can finish and with great performance. So let's get into the race result. And ooh, Skyrim is now out of the race so he in reality became the last driver to DNF and not me. But still he, he got points because he completed more than 9% of the race. So let's get now into the race results. So here are the race results. Tato Santi won the race, Alan finished second, Booster finished third, the BMR driver finished fourth, Ricardo finished fifth, and and Skyrim, the driver was in front of me. Despite not finishing the race, still finished 6th place because he dnf on the final lap and he was on the lead lap so yeah the Aston Martins and Terrific finished one lap behind the leader well Rappi and Terrific finished 2 instead of 1 and meanwhile I just got dnf but classified 10th but still I won't get points because the point system if I don't finish the race the point system changes and in 10th place you don't get points and in 9th place you just get 1. And well, you know the others got DNF. So yeah, in total there were like 10 DNFs. Really, really eventful first third of the race I think so. And yeah, it was heartbreaking for me. Uh, well, hope you, hope you reach until the end of this video because I don't know if I don't think you have enjoyed this video and well I'm just going to practice for Monza and have a great day goodbye